Okay, this is kind of an overview of the pipes that were in the box that I found. Here's another box that's got most of my tobaccos and stuff in it. This is the majority of my pipes. There's a bunch of them still probably in the other box. Uh, this section here is all GBD pipes. Some of them are collector editions. You can tell by them usually they have a a clear stem in them although this one is also a collector's edition but it's got a uh, oh wait a minute that's not it it's hard to do this from behind the viewfinder I had one of my hands the other day that seems to have come up missing in the short time anyway these are all GBDs here and then these are my Sassini's these Sassini four dots some of them are the old type four dot and then other ones are that's supposedly it what at the time was their top of the line pipes and these are Mayfairs they're made by GBD uh, but they're kind of like the consumer grade these are three I've got about five more of these um, WDC William DeMuth company they are in Cincinnati uh, uh, late 19th century, uh, you know, 1890 something. Uh, and I've got a, several of these. They're, particularly this, this is a real tiny thing if, to give you any idea, that this is not very big. But I've got all four, there are four sizes of this. This one, this is the next size up. And then there are two bigger, and I've got both of those too. But they're in that other box somewhere. Uh, these falcons belong to my father-in-law and uh, when he passed uh, I got them these are my uh, we'll call them uh, the mixed bag uh, there's an auction house not far from here and that's where most of these came from they'll, they'll show up in lots and you just get a big box of pipes and and I used to pick them up uh, there's some unusual ones here. This is a Comoys. This one is a it says I, I can't pronounce it, so I put it on the bottom there. Schoenlieber. I like bulldogs. Um, this shape is real is one of my favorites. And then I have a few Meerschaums. Of course, it got I got a couple of tins of mosquito. Uh, because that's in my active collection. I don't know if there's anything else really weird or unusual. One of my, uh, I've got a real pretty, well, there's two of them actually, real pretty, uh, Meerschaum pipes that I'm kind of proud of. Let's get this one open. Uh, this one is a double bowl. Um, lattice so it's got the, the inside bowl is completely free floating from the uh, outside bowl I don't know exactly how they, the guys who, who uh, carve these things did it but that I like lattice uh, meerschaums they don't get quite so hot in your hand when you're when you're using them and when I was smoking a pipe a lot, this is, was one I went to quite a bit. Um, because of the moisture, the way uh, Meerschaum deals with moisture, is that you can finish a pipe with this and then uh, repack it and start right over. A lot of, the, with the wooden pipes, you need to let them sit aside and dry. Okay, the phone rang, and I'm trying to remember where I was at. It gave me a chance to put some of the other pipes back in the box and uh, bring out some of the uh, Meerschaums. This is another lattice. I was on a lattice kick there for a little while. I had this one and this one and there's another one somewhere. This is my daily driver. And then this one came up in a lot somewhere. This is one I bought 
on the cheap somewhere. It looks like a hand. It's a little hand holding the holding the bull, but it's a tiny little thing. So, uh, and that's pretty much it for my basic collection. There's more, um, but these are the ones that I used most. All these pipes are smokers, except for the one GBD that I haven't uh, used yet. I was going to try to show you this. Most K-Woodies um, have a... Well, here's another one. Let's see. They have a metal... For the love of Pete. Have a metal uh, deal like this to uh, when you have the stem attached. And that, that, that's when they had a, a filter in the barrel here. Well, this one is out of their custom shop. Uh, and it's a super grain. It's got just beautiful grain to it. And it is a, a standard. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Well, it's a standard pipe, uh, fitted, fitted pipe. You can see here that there's no metal parts to it. So they, somebody had to go to the trouble of making, uh, turning this out, this is like a one-off. I've got a couple of these, and then this one is a similar thing from the uh, um, Graybo shop, uh, from their custom shop. Uh, these are both one-offs, uh, and they're unique. Uh, so. I've not used them very much. They've got, they were used when I got them and, and I reamed them out and cleaned them. But they all, these are all pretty dusty and have been through my basement foibles. So I'm lucky that uh, they, these all have made it this far without any damage. I, these falcons are kind of fun too, but they get terrible hot down here on the bottom. Uh, this this part here, there's a chamber, yeah, smoking area, but right there at the very bottom, uh, you get a hot cool on that, and this being all aluminum, this gets pretty warm, so you gotta hold, make sure you hold it by the wood when you're, when you're using these guys, but these are, I guess people are collecting these now, um, but I got, I got three of them. That uh, they comprise a set. They're they have three different numbers on them. I don't know. That one's bent, and the other one is straight, and the other one's not quite as long, but it's straight. But that's where we're at. Uh, that's all there is to it. We'll next up. <laughs>